Best advice I ever got from a coach that I could use in life too. Mm. If it is to be, it's up to me. Uh, my high school coach actually told me that he had it written on our wall. And it's like, when you first see it, it's like, man, it's just like, if it is to be, it's up to me. But it's after you like lose and you finna start playing the blame game, you don't realize you finna do it. And he say, if it is to be, it's up to me. And he kind of like put it out there, like you finna make an excuse. Like you about to do the thing that people do when it come too hard, you finna place the blame on somebody else. And um, I don't know, that stuck with me like, I'll at the end of it, I could know it's somebody else's fault. Like, you dropped the ball. Like, I, I know it's your fault, but I'll take that. Like, I, somehow it make me better to take that. It make me better for the next game. You know what I'm saying? And, and in life, it's like the next situation, the next mountain, whatever you got to deal with. If you take the mentality that what can I do to make sure it happens, you will always end up on the right side of things, somehow. I don't know how it works out this way, but it works. So that's the, if it is to be, it's up to me. It's the best thing a coach ever said to me. Two most memorable moments for me, besides the championship in 2016, because everybody knows the 2016 championship, is, that was OD. Um, getting drafted was my first time ever passing out. I never passed out in my life and I got drafted and I had my whole family around me. I had like friends, high school teammates, like coaches, everybody for real, for real. Cause I elected not to go to the draft. I don't know what made me say I didn't want to go. Cause I ended up getting the late invite, but I was like, no, y'all took too long. Like I had a chip on my shoulder. Like, y'all played with me. So I'm gonna just be with my people. And uh, yeah, he, he squinted down. And we knew he was finna say my name because it's like, you ain't finna have to correct nobody else's name on this list, bro. Everybody got a smooth name but me. He like, let me make sure. Iman, he said that. Everybody started screaming. I remember, I can't remember. I think it was my mama had, like, had me around my neck. And I ended up going down. Like, I went out for a second and she had to go like this and wake me back up. And I was like, I, I registered everything then. It was my first time like passing out and I was like, damn, they really caught me. Like, I had never, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, like sometimes you like, that's the movies. Like people just paint like, oh, like, that's the movies, G. Like, but nah, that's, that's for real. Like sometimes it's like, you really know in your heart, like this is all I want. Like, that was the feeling, like this is all I want. And then, I got it, and I was like, oh, I could rest. <laughs> like, that's how I felt, like, damn, I could rest for a little, just for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And then the other moment, people don't know this moment for me. We played Boston, uh, game six, my second year in the league. Yeah, we played Boston. And, um, uh, I forgot what happened during the game. Something got said, but I ended up going off on them. But after that, I always loved playing in Boston. Like, I just, I got into it with like they fans or something. I can't remember what like triggered it. So it's a while ago now, I feel old. But ever since then, I had special games in Boston. I always loved playing in Boston and shit. But we played them and eliminated them game six. And I did uh, Jason Terry's little playing thing. And uh, yeah, it was just a really memorable moment for me. That's back when I had the high top and shit. So it was like the the kids, you know, they got a kick out of that shit. Like he just did Jason Terry's jet. And JT cool, like he was one of the cool NBA vets that was like, ah, oh, you tried to diss me. Like he ain't, he ain't take it no type of way. It ain't carry over. No, he was always cool and taught us a lot. So it was just cool to like, get into a real war. Like you have battles where you play somebody one off, but playing somebody and sending them home, like sending another man home is it's a different type of feeling. That was my first taste of that. So it was like, yeah, that shit meant something to me. Like I want to send a nigga home, go home. How about it? <laughs> go home, shorty. <laughs> I like to do that part. I don't really, the regular season, like once you start sending niggas home, like the regular season, 
it's like pick up out there. You just out here staying sharp, like setting yourself up for the playoffs. And then it's like, nigga, go the fuck home. Like, that's where it get real. Yeah. What's going on, y'all? It's Iman. Check me out on 24-7-HH.